Yes, a disaster. I suppose we will hear from uh, operators and carriers alike more about the situation. In the meantime, we have on the line with us Alessandro Valenti from Hupac. Good to see you here. Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon. Um, you are here to discuss a more positive topic, but uh, maybe you can relate a little bit. How is uh, the situation in Italy when uh, you have such uh, heavy snow? Do you face cir similar circumstances? Uh, first of all, Hupac is a Swiss company and our main traffic are running through Switzerland and Switzerland is a, is a country full of mountains and we cross the Alps, so we are relatively used to, to manage the, the winter conditions. Uh, but I have to say, I, I fully agree with my colleagues of LTA and Capfrain. Uh, it's really uh, not only a disaster, but it's really a frustration and a, a real danger for the model shift that uh, the rail system has such uh, uh, weak reactions to, to, to similar uh, normal situation. But I have to say, uh, also in Switzerland, we have the same issues. Uh, it's a general problem. It's not only <laughs> related to Rotterdam, but also to, to, to the, maybe a new approach uh, or the, a new organization in the infra infrastructure board. Uh, we have all, also had some problems uh, in Switzerland because of uh, winter conditions and the reaction times uh, are not uh, the one expected. Um, probably a, a very, very deep analysis should be done to understand where the, the critical points are, if it's a matter of organization, it's a matter of skills, a matter of resources, uh, a matter of procedures. Uh, but uh, we have to give a signal that uh, this, let's say, defiance has been uh, uh, autocritical understood and the market should, underst should understand that it will never repeat again. Because for sure the big shippers, they, they see and they evaluate if they have to invest, yes or not, in uh, uh, rail system solutions. And this is for sure not a, a good business card. And mm -hmm. for the investment, you know that it's very, very difficult to convince big company to, to take decisions. And it's very easy and very fast to uh, for, for them to to change their minds so yeah uh, this year is not the first case uh, so really the, the appeal and the the, the the warning to to our partner of the infrastructure management uh, is very 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 uh, strong yeah okay now, that's good to hear that you are uh, saying this i guess um, we had some more uh, good news actually in uh, Switzerland. The Scenery based tunnel was opened in September last year, and since then, you, uh, Hupac, extended your P400 network extensively. Now, maybe you can tell us why the opening of the Scenery based tunnel was crucial in this. Yes, I would say the Chenery based tunnel was the last uh, infrastructure of a big project, uh, the so-called uh, Alp Transit project, uh, uh, which is a very, very long-term uh, uh, initiative of the Swiss government taken uh, more than 25 years ago. Uh, at the end, the project was uh, was over. Uh, all the infrastructure has been has been built. Uh, I have to say, uh, at due time, uh, on time, this is very important. And uh, as of uh, December 2020, uh, three, Switzerland has become a corridor for all the P400 traders uh, on all the lines crossing the, 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 the countries, transiting the country. This is very important for the corridor Rotterdam Genova because this is the way really to, to allow uh, all kind of units to be shifted on the train from the road to the, to the rail. And uh, the future is very bright in this sense. Although I have to admit that uh, despite the, the, the new, the opening of the infrastructures, there are still some works on the line, a uh, single part to be completed, which will need also partial closures during the next months. Uh, but okay, now we have waited for a long time. I think uh, a little bit of patient also for the next months is, uh, is understandable. Um, so what are these closures? When and where can we expect them? 
But there are several closures, you know, the, the rail line is full, full, full of, of works. The calendar, the calendar of the works is, uh, is always very, very intense. And, um, and uh, the next one, very important, is in April with the uh, one month closure of, a, of one of the three corridors through Switzerland. But uh, there are also a lot of weekends, a lot of single weeks during the year. It would be a long calendar to, to yeah. describe. Uh, but anyway, uh, as you said, the, we are very confident, we, but also other operators of our sector. So we are, there are a lot of other companies jo uh, uh, enjoying for these new infrastructures. We are ready to, to shift uh, this kind of equipment, the trailers, P400, from the road to the rail. And you have to imagine through Switzerland, uh, more than 80 percent of the traffic in transit on the road can be shifted only with uh, the, the the trailer equipment so a container and tanks uh, I, have, I i would say they are the majority is already on the, yeah. on the rail but uh, a lot of goods traditionally transported by trailer uh, can be shifted and uh, the trend of growth in this sector is is very very high if you look at the figures in europe you see that it's nearly double digit per year the 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 growth of the trading business um, and uh, by us i have to say in the last uh, five years we have nearly tripled the, the quantity of trailers so it is a signal that the demand is very very strong the, the demand of the of the logistic yeah. for this kind of equipment you you have some slides so if you want us to uh, to point at something in particular let us know we are now showing the slides where you can see um the 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 growth and the increase yes our, the, the the red columns they represent the growth in trailer business uh, of our company, but I think uh, also for other rail operator transit in Switzerland, it, it should be similar. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, it's not only a matter of infrastructure, I have to say. Uh, it's not the only uh, condition sine qua non. There are also other elements to be considered, like the, uh, the rail car set. I mean, the, the, the availability of the right rail cars. And if you ask the constructor of the rail cars, they will confirm that the demand of pocket rail cars uh, is also growing with a similar trend. But also in the terminals, we need uh, facilities or we need, uh, let's say, infrastructure solution in the rail terminals where we have to transship from road to rail uh, something in the organization in the structure of the terminals must be adapted yeah and how much and needs to be how, how far are we now is that is that in switzerland for example is that in place or is there still a lot of work that needs to be done uh concerning the terminal switzerland is a transit is a is a country mm -hmm. of transit but the terminals for example in uh, in northern and uh, southern of the alps yeah. uh, there are a lot of new projects a lot and uh, part part of them have even been subsidized by the swiss government because uh, the swiss government decided not only to to finance or to invest in the tunnels they also decided to invest in the framework conditions and the framework conditions are also the build, the building of uh, new terminals, uh, allowing the model shift. Eh? And this was really the reason for which the project was re really long term. Yeah. In Italy, there are a lot of projects in which also our company is involved, and uh, also northern of the Alps. Uh, it's maybe too long to, to describe them. One additional thing, last but not least, probably, uh, the business of the semi trailer on the trains. Be, means also a change of parameters of the rail tractions. It means that the semi-trailers, uh, if you take one rail car, in one rail car you can load maybe two heavy tanks or one trailer, or also one container, one, one swap bodies. But the, the development of the semi-trailers will probably in the next years r need uh, the change of the parameters, technical parameter of the trains, in the sense that they should be longer, they should be longer in order to be able to to utilize the the, the, the possibility uh, of the locomotives to 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 run heavy heavy trains, but heavy trains with trailers, uh, if they are short, they cannot allow the productivity. So uh, what is going to be done is not only to build 
terminals, uh, tunnels, and, uh, and to create new train connections, it's also important to have different technical parameters in Europe, like the length of the trains, which is also one of the components for which there are a lot of works scheduled in the next months, yeah. because a lot of a lot of tracks, be, a lot of lines must be adapted to the new length of the trains. Okay. Now, I want to take this a little bit broader. You mentioned Europe a lot. Uh, now, uh, this is uh, quite recent in Switzerland, but a while ago, you also uh, had some milestone uh, uh, steps in uh, France and in Spain. Can you explain what was done there and, and what else needs to be done in Europe? Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the first question is easier. The second one is a little bit uh, an open question. But what uh, what the situation is in France and Spain? Okay, Spain, you know, they are uh, equipping themselves with the European gauge of the of the tracks. Uh, uh, this is relatively slow, but uh, at current uh, there is there are there are still a lot of trains running between two from Spain and or France and or via France. France, I have to say, is a country in which uh, the, the development of the rail business is relatively complicated and not so fast. And uh, coming back to the point about the trailers, this is a, a clear example of uh, constraints or difficulties. It's not easy to have the allowance to run uh, trains moving trailers with the high with the 8p400 because of a very very complicated bureaucrat somehow bureaucratic slash technical system uh, it takes a lot to have the allowance um, um, and this allowance is not given to the line is given to the specific product so it means and to the specific railway undertaking it means that in order to be able to run trains on a specific corridor you have to submit a request it's not automatic and it takes time uh, work and sometimes even uh, um, obstacles so the message is that uh, if france is apparently is uh, should be the case once really to, to to facilitate the model shift something also in the procedure in the prescriptions to uh, to, to create the framework condition easier must be must be changed uh, you you mentioned our product we have some few products uh, connecting or transit in France and we have reached the the, uh, the goal sometimes to have allowance for this trailer business but it's uh, it's really um, situative sit situated to the specific product and every time there is a, a, a work on the line or a, a a small, a small change of routing, uh, we immediately lose for this specific period the allowance. So it's a very, very delicate and fragile eh, the situation. Yeah. So we have not yet uh, a situation in which we can say that uh, the trade business through France or in France can be uh, sta steadily uh, occur. Yeah. And Sometimes there is. Please. Where, where are the, the gaps? Which routes would you still like to see uh, accomplished? In France, you mean? or uh, in, in general, in uh, Europe. In general, in Europe, I have to say, according to our experience, because we, we are not everywhere, but France is for sure one of the main uh, problems. France, the transit in France is for sure, the, for us, the most critical one. Um, also between Italy and Spain or France, there are also some some constraints because the, in this case, there are really not the tunnels. So it's nearly impossible, technically impossible. Mm -hmm. The infrastructure is too old to, to allow the, 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 the shift or the, the utilization of trains with the, the P400. And also partially south of Italy on the Tyrrhenic side, there is uh, there is still a gap, but it should be covered in the in the next five years. Uh, for the connection between Italy and France, uh, you know there is a famous uh, project, the uh, Terzo Valley, um, the TAV uh, between Lyon and Torino, which is a political issue uh, overall in Italy. And for France, in my opinion, it's more a matter of convincement of the government to create uh, better 
bureaucratic and infrastructure prescriptions. Yeah. Sometimes we have the feeling that there is a, a kind of protection of the of some existing markets. Uh, like it's which market? not a secret. Pardon? Which markets do you mean? Uh, it's not a secret that France uh, or in France there, is, there are uh, a lot of trains running non-crenable non -crenable trailers and they have a specific allowance and uh, it's very difficult to, to compete, uh, to, to mm -hmm. compete even because of the technical uh, constraints. And uh, this is sometimes uh, the, the bad feeling that we have when we ask for um, for uh, I repeat this, this kind of allowance. Yeah. Uh, please don't take it as a, 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 <laughs> a um, let's say critical uh, or a critics direct critics. But this is the feeling we have sometimes because uh, with the non crenable trailers uh, the situation is different. This is uh, recognized by the market. But anyway, these are in, in our network the, 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 the point of Europe in which we have see, we have still some constraints. But we see a, a positive future because uh, a lot of works in the infrastructure sector are going to be done. And this is the, the, the basic, eh? the, the most important element. Yeah. Now, what are the numbers you expect to, to lift this year if it comes to P400 trailers? You want, you mean in absolute number? Yeah. Uh, let's say that okay, absolute number maybe uh, by us at current. Uh, let's say that the quantity of trailers is more or less uh, twenty percent of our complete total uh, statistics. Trailers P four hundred, and we count in in the next two three years to to have at least uh, 35, 40 percent of the of the units transported in the trailer business. In some cases, it's also a change of equipment eh, because there are maybe uh, transports which are uh, developed by with swap bodies. Maybe they can they can be moved on trailers, which is uh, logistic wise sometimes easier to be managed also on the road, but due to the technical constraints we had till now, it was not possible. Now that it's possible, probably some goods will be moved from swaps to trailers. Okay. Well, it sounds uh, very positive and uh, I would like to see by the end of the year uh, if you have reached uh, these goals. So hopefully speak Me too. to you. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks to you. Good job. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And we have reached the end of the show now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be notified when we post a new video. And we also have an Instagram account. Now, for now, thank you for watching and see you next week. Goodbye. En ook u kunt hier zitten, want deze Coronaproof Studio is te huur voor uw congres, vergadering of webinar. We hebben alle techniek in huis om u hierbij te helpen. Kijk voor meer informatie op promedia.nl. Ik zie u graag in onze studio.